Hey crafty friends, welcome back. In today's video, I'm using the Tombow watercolor set to create a card on the go. I love the packaging. I'm really inspired by these beautiful butterflies. So I'm going to make some butterflies and flowers and critters of my own and y'all are coming along. The 4-H pencil that comes in the watercolor set is perfect for the project today because the pencil lead leaves a light mark and it's super easy to erase, which I really appreciate. And I like doing a sketch situation first because I don't have like, you know, amazing watercoloring skills. So it helps me to have an idea of what I want to paint. Now I'm going to show y'all one of my favorite ways to watercolor. It takes hardly any water. You don't really need skills or like an artistic eye. All you do is take your color that you want to use and add little marks where you want the darkest area to be. So like on these leafy garland things, I put my green leaf marks where the leaves will be at the bottom of the leaves. On these flowers, I'm just kind of adding them in the lines where I think the shadowy bits or the darker bits of the florals would be. On this tulip, I'm kind of going around the front and then just a little bit in the middle. And then I'm also doing a rose, so I'm just going around all of the petals of this. And then it is time to add some water. So I'm going in with this Tombow water brush. It also comes with the set. I am not adding any additional water to the paper, to the ink, nothing. The bristles on the brush are already damp and my images are small enough that I can get away with not adding any extra water, which means, yay, crafting on the go, fun hack. Things dry super duper fast because you're not adding hardly any water at all. And to fill in the color, y'all, it's super easy. I'm just running the bristles of the water brush over the ink lines that I've already made and then just gradually blending that out. Um, it's super simple. Like I said, it's kind of foolproof. So give it a try and let me know how it goes because I want to see. So tag me on Instagram. Leave me a comment down below if you give it a try. And I hope you guys find my little hack here helpful and makes watercoloring a little less scary. For the dragonfly and butterfly wings, I'm doing these in two separate layers. So I already uh, finished watercoloring in the bodies and then I went in with the wing color ink and now I'm blending it out. And I did that because I didn't want the body color and the wing color to blend. If you do wet to wet with watercolor, even if you're not adding a lot of water, they'll still mix. So I did the body first, let it dry, and then went in and did the wings. And you can see it makes kind of a transparent layer. I think it's so beautiful. So to define all of my images and make them really fun and doodly and quirky and just add some more details, I'm going in with the Mono Twin Permanent Marker. I love this marker. I use it all the time for so many different things. And it has two points, which is really great for a project like this because I'm using the fine point to add all of my fun little details. And now it's everybody's favorite time, fussy cutting. So I'm just cutting out all these little images we painted. Aren't they so fun? I did do some off screen because <laughs> it just would have taken forever, y'all. Oh my gosh. All right. Anyway, we are making a card. So I wanted to make a sentiment. So I just used the green marker that comes in the set to outline the word hi because I figure that's simple and I can send this to anyone if it just says hi. <laughs> so I'm just filling this in again with the water brush. I think it's gonna be so beautiful. I am outlining it. I'm doing all the same techniques um, on the sentiment that I did for all of the little images. That way everything kind of goes. And I'm gonna use these pre-made card bases as well as the Tombow Mono Dots Adhesive. This is one of my two favorite adhesives from Tombow. The other one is the Extreme. But we're using the Mono today 
uh, for the specific reason that it gives you just a moment before it dries down completely and permanently to kind of move your little bits around just a little bit. So I thought that would be great for this project because I wasn't sure like exactly the locations of all the little flowers and all the little dragonflies and things. So this glue is great. It gave me, you know, just a little bit of time to kind of work my little die cuts and get them exactly where I wanted. And like I said, it will dry permanently, which is awesome. And here is my finished card. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video today. I hope it made watercoloring a little less intimidating. If you want to give the Tombow watercolor set a try, I highly recommend it. It has everything that you need in there to start your watercoloring journey. So that is it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already. Make sure to subscribe to Tombow because they're awesome not be disappointed and I will see y'all in the next crafty adventure. Until then, happy crafting friends!